Brendel and today we are going to be doing a December recap but I know the last time that I filmed a video for 2022 I didn't recap the previous month. I know I showed you the budget for September 2022 and so we'll kind of flip through the months and kind of give you some update and then we will go over December together. So first we have September's debt review. We just made the minimum payment. It's our ending balance. We're currently paid off less than 4% of it. We just got that loan in June, so that makes sense. And so for September, we made a little extra money. Sewer and garbage fluctuated again. We put a big chunk into our sinking funds and we ended up not putting anything in savings. And that is to start prepping for 2023 sinking funds. A little over on groceries, but we were under on restaurant. So then over on our sinking funds, we added a bunch to auto insurance for 2023. That was where a lot of it went. We still have to add a little bit more. I spent a little bit more in beauty. That was because my mascara was on sale. So I kind of stuck up on that. Let's see what else. We had car tabs, that was for the RAV4. We have a big chunk going into dogs and that's for Leah's appointment that she had in October. We went on a camping trip in Montana for a few days. Not too much in September. So then we will move over to October. Here's our debt review. So we're now at 5% paid off. We brought in a little bit extra. Again, that sewer and garbage <laughs> fluctuated. So that's kind of why in my January budget, I moved it to variable because it's up and down all the time. We were still adding more to sinking funds. So we didn't put anything to savings, but sinking funds are kind of like little savings accounts for future bills. And groceries went over and the restaurant we also went over. So we contributed more. So that's fully funded for 2023's insurance for both of our vehicles and our motorcycles. We had Leah's dental appointment. She had one little tooth in the back taken out. Let's see. We started Christmas shopping a little bit. Those were just some gift cards from Tarte, not Target, from Costco that we got on sale. And I ended up getting new Cricut blades, a cleaning calendar, and a new laptop backpack. And we fully funded technology for Adobe for next year. And then we started adding to vacation. So I paid this early. We get this bill in October, but it's not actually due until the end of December. So I could have waited until November when we normally contribute our monthly $18 and it wouldn't be negative but I accidentally paid it early. And so since I knew in November we were gonna contribute $18 and it would even out, I just left it. But again, normally I don't do that. And those are all the big highlights, I think. And then we're gonna flip over to November. Debt review, again, we just make the minimum payment. So we're up to 6.47% complete. And then again, we made a little bit extra money brought in for November. We got rid of Hulu. Our promotion period ended for the year. So we got rid of it, but we did get it back for the new Black Friday promotion. So they didn't have it for a dollar, but it's now $2. I think you'll see it in December. And we contributed a little bit more to sinking funds again. Groceries, we went over. Oh, here we moved it to sewer and garbage to variable. And I anticipated sewer and garbage going up, but it doesn't look like it did. And then we didn't eat out much. I don't know exactly what this is, maybe Sometimes when we go Costco shopping, we'll get something from the food court and then we'll categorize that as a restaurant. I'm not sure exactly what that was. And then, so we did add a little bit more to savings, which is nice. And then we did have an extra that didn't fall into a category. And that is Matt's license renewal, driver's license renewal. So we put that in there. Now let's look at sinking funds. 
We had car tabs, that was for the Tacoma truck. And I bought snow boots. So that's why I got a little extra there. Dogs are fine, entertainment. We had bumped this up because we were supposed to have my brother and my sister, they were supposed to come for two separate occasions, but the weather was kind of crappy and they didn't want to drive over the passes, which I don't blame them. So they didn't make it over. Matt had got a fitness subscription. Next we have gas was kind of low. Gifts, we really started shopping for Christmas. A lot of Black Friday deals there. Regular birthday gifts. We bought new sleeping bags. And then for office, I bought my 2023 regular planner, my budget book, some cutting mats or a cutting mat. And then the happy planner advent calendar I bought. I don't think I would get it next year. I wasn't super excited about it. Then we have December. Okay. So I already did the debt review. Still the minimum and our percent we've paid off so far is 7.75%. So let's dive in. So for income, we brought in $6,395, which is an extra $9.95. And our mortgage was the same. Our Tacoma payment was the same. Our phone bill. Life insurance. Internet. Netflix. And Hulu were all the same. For what we expected. So this is 2003. So yeah, there's Hulu. We got the Black Friday deal of just $2 for a month sinking funds. We added a lot in here, $3,539. Groceries, we went over by six. Sewer so and garbage. <laughs> and we did not contribute to savings. So zero. Oh, I should have put up, should not have put brackets there, but oh well. So as you can see, a lot of what we did put our money was back into sinking funds. And again, we were prepping for 2023 there. So let's go over how much we put for these. So auto insurance, we didn't add anything to and we didn't spend anything. So that still has $2,071.79. Auto maintenance, we put the 75 that we expected. We spent $20, which is a car wash subscription. And so we have an ending of $249.76. For beauty, we still put 200. I spent $187.47. I bought a wax bundle. So this has an ending of $39.96. Card tabs. We didn't add anything and didn't spend anything. So they still has $236.79. Clothes. We still added $100. I spent $88.55. I have $80.18 remaining. Matt spent $110.22. And so he's got 23 cents remaining. Costco, we didn't add anything and we didn't spend anything. And this is again for the membership. For dogs, we still added a hundred and we spent $34.97. So we have $239.30. Electric, we added the regular 90 and it came out to 108.14. So we have 52.86. 
Next we have entertainment. So we ended up adding just $68, but again, we didn't plan to, but we went to an arcade room with some of Matt's family. And then I had a friend's birthday where we went out to lunch together, spent the day together. And then we had breakfast with our nieces and nephews. So we spent 303.80. So we only have 27 cents left there. Fitness, we didn't spend anything. And we have 254.91 remaining. Furniture, we still added the 100. So we have 365. We saw a couch at Costco that we want. It has a floor model available, but we're waiting to have them get more in stock. Hopefully at the end of January, fingers crossed. Next we have gas, which we added the regular 250 and spent 226.10. So we have 108.99. Gifts for Christmas, we added $2,215 and that is to fund next year so we spent 1287.59 and that leaves two thousand thirty dollars and nineteen cents for next year we already kind of went over 2023's budget and we like to pre-fund it so that as the year goes on if we want to add a person than we can and then we can make that adjustment easier gifts in general we didn't spend or we didn't add anything we i did spend 74.79 so there's 219.35 each away we took this money out so we didn't spend anything and we didn't have anything and then we're not going to have it for 2023 home extras we added a hundred we didn't spend anything which means we have a hundred and sixty three home improvement we didn't spend anything and we didn't we didn't add anything and we didn't spend anything so it was 927.96 hunting and outdoors we added 210 and we spent 212.23 we bought some mittens and buffs, and that leaves 105.15 in that category. Next, we have medical, and we didn't add anything to it. So we have 468.50. For office supplies, we added 172. We decided to get a PO box for the Etsy shipping. So packages from my Etsy shop will go from that address and not our home address. I also bought a work planner and for sticker organization. So that was 179.03, leaving just 69 cents in that category. Technology, nothing comes out yet. 462.06 remaining vacation we added the hundred we didn't spend anything so there's 1175 78 cents and then water is we added that 18 dollars nothing spent so we have 12 82 so the total that we added we add all this up and then subtract out the 360 we added 3,539. We spent 2,832.89. And that leaves 9,258 with 96 cents in our sinking funds account. Again, that is a separate account from our checking. And at the end of the month, we We'll move these amounts around so that they are balanced in our sinking funds, checking account, and our credit cards. And that is 
is everything for December. Thank you so much for following along and I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any comments if you have any questions about these previous months that I maybe didn't elaborate on. I'm happy to go over anything. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!